Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS. And today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new virtual analog polysynth called Krill. Krill, 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 Krill. I like Krill. But first we're going to kick off with a song by the amazing Roque Avalanita. I think I got it right. This is a song.
Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Jade. Oops. Oh, great. Now my stream deck's not working. Nice. <laughs> can I change scenes? I can change scenes. I've got no icons. Nice stuff. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, it's been a morning. It certainly has. That was Roque. Avalanita, there you go, Roque Avalanita, I'm going to get it right, I've got it right, and uh, Qu Qu Quinte Quintito El Electrico, I think it is, number eight, man, um, so the show's late today because um, I haven't been well, I definitely um, was hoping to be ready to go, um, but uh I got a blood nose at, at uh, approximately 5.30 in the morning, about 20 minutes before I wake up, and it uh, only just stopped about 17 minutes ago. Uh, make that about 24 minutes ago because that song was long, and I intentionally played a long song to kick off the show just in case it started again. So it's been a long blood nose. It's um, For those of you who don't know, I suffer from an incurable a uh, blood disorder called ITP, where I cannot clot blood incorrect. I cl I cannot clot blood properly, um, so I I frequently bleed from within my gums and nose quite heavily because I and once it starts I can't stop. So it's a thing, man. We all have things, yeah, and you live with it. And sometimes it it uh. It impacts the show, but the show must go on. So luckily, you know, thankfully to those who've, uh, you know, held on a little bit and uh, allowed me to uh, play, uh, do this a little bit later. And it's seriously nothing working there. Let's get over here, get my ugly head off the camera. It's not good today. So, yeah, um, so I've been bleeding for about two and a, two and a half hours. So I'm, I'm not feeling the best at the moment. Um, but we are here. Yes, we are here. And um, today we're going to be taking a look at this incredible, uh, simple to use uh, synth, which is just really a pleasure to use. Not complicated at all. So maybe if you're thinking of getting into analog synth, this could be the right synth for you to get into. Let's say hello to everyone here. Hi, Russ. Hi, Jim. Shannon on sounds. Hello, Jenny. Yeah, exactly. I've swallowed so much blood today and no amount of coffee. Uh, thankfully, I was able to get, get a coffee, So, but it still tastes like blood. Mm. Mm, coffee and blood. Sweet. <laughs> it is what it is. Hey, Ian, what's going on? Audible video, what's happening? Gregory O'Sullivan, uh, Thomas Christ. Uh, Leela, what's going on? Thanks for the call earlier this morning, Leela. 3.30 a.m. woke me up. <laughs> that's, the, that's the least of my worries, Leela, really. Fucking hell. Um, I thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> don't pocket call people, folks. <laughs> you got to laugh, man. you got to laugh. Joe and Barry Glenn are here. I saw Barry as well. There's Joe. Who else do I see? Who else do I see? Gregory O'Sullivan, did I say hi to you? Man, I can't remember shit from Cheyenne today. Jenny, what's happening? Yeah, I've probably already said your name. I think I, have I got most of you? If I haven't, just just put it down in the chat. And I'll... Conspiracy? It's a conspiracy here, the conspiracy music. It's cool. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Hey, Les. What's going on? All right, it's been a morning. It has been a morning. And I just hope I don't get any more blood noses on this show because you won't see me on. Can I actually make myself disappear? No, I can't remove my camera if something goes wrong. Nice. Thanks, Stream Deck, for not working. That's really kind of you. I can change scenes. Cool. Yep, I can change scenes, but everything else seems up shit. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? I have no idea. Where are we? Who am I? What's happening? We're going to look at some price drops. That's what we're going to do. Um, so we've got some price drops over here. Midi Strummer from Four Pockets. 
I can absolutely guarantee this is a good app to grab if you are not so hot on on the guitar. Where am I? I'm not even in here anymore. Can I bring myself back in? No. Let's see if I can fix this. Man, there I am. <laughs> wow, all these buttons are screwed. Um, <laughs> MIDI strummer, if you don't play guitar... If you don't play guitar, this is a perfect app for you because um, I've, it's, you can control other apps with it. You can play guitar on it. it. It's just really cool. I've done a show on it. Go back, have a look at it. MIDI Strummer. It's dropped from $7.99 to $5.99. Chameleon, another cool app from Four Pockets on sale. Uh, Bleach Sidekicks on sale, $7.99 to $4.99. The Mini Moog Model D and the Model 15 uh, Modular Synth are both on sale for about five bucks off. So there you go. There's something that definitely won't waste your time. Yeah. Maze Rider, Bass Leveler. Anyway, we've got to move on with the show, don't we? We're looking at Krill today. Krill, Krill, Krill from Guido, from GSI, um, who've just made a huge impact here over on iOS. Uh, well, they've got, I've done three apps in the last few weeks. Is it three? Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, maybe four. Anyway, and this is another great app. Nine dollars ninety nine US, eight ninety nine UK. About fourteen bucks Australian. Totally worth your time. As I said, if you're just getting into uh, analog synth and you, you look at all these synths that are out and they look really complicated, lots of LFOs, all this stuff, and you're like, my head is b being done in. This is the synth for you. Yeah. Got some really nice sounds, simple to use, really, really simple to use, and we're going to get in and have a look at it right now because I'm wasting so much time. Remember, straight after the show, because I'm running late today, is Pete John's YML. So um, I th think, yep, I've got the dump set, so I can dump you all over there immediately, I think. Uh, let's open up um, AUM, and hopefully this is all still working. <laughs> yeah. And we'll solo these. And we'll bring everything in, shall we? <laughs> no, we don't want that one. Oh, yeah, we'll solo that one. And we'll solo. We'll make sure this is all good. <laughs> all right. And I've made a little a little bit of sound for this. So as you can see, I've got five instances of it running here. And a hammerhead. And it's all connected to Zoa. This is Zoa. Let's refresh Zoa. This is a, 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 a generative app that generates sounds. So uh, we'll hit play and see what happens, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh.
do. Good times. Let's go back over here. So, uh, again, this was whipped up probably within about 15 minutes because generative apps can do that. They're really handy to, uh, to whip up interesting things. Um, th there's only one effect on all of that, one effect. There was an Altether just on one krill. So, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. Let's, uh, should we jump in? Uh, I'll make sure this is saved. Save that. Overwrite. Yes. Let's open up a, a new instance of this and show you what's going on with it, how to operate it, where everything is, and uh, how easy it is to do stuff with. So I'm going to load up an instance of Krill, K-R-I-L-L. -L. Maybe if I did that, that would work. Krill. There we go. Going to attach my keyboard. So we need a keyboard input, which is my key step here. Sweet. And let's give it a little bit of volume. I'll just uh, give it some gain up here, just so it's a little bit louder. There we go. So you're going to get some pretty simple stuff in here, and that's what's good because you can build your own sounds really easy. So this is the one page you only have to look at. This is it. There's no more. That That's it. It's pretty, pretty simple stuff. We've got a main, uh, and everything's little modules here, little lengthy modules. So we've got a main uh, with here with a volume and a glide and a bend. The bend controls the level of pitch bend on your keyboard. So when I turn that up full, pull that bend back down. There's hardly any bend on my keyboard. Put it double click and it'll go back to where it was at the beginning. Nice, nice, nice. So the glide will become active when you click on mono. So this is uh, polyphonic, yeah. So it's got 16 voices. So you can, uh, in other words, that means you can hold down 16 keys at once, yeah. So 16 all at once. But there is a mono option here. So you can click on mono and now only one key. Only one key at a time works. And this is where our glide button comes in. So you'll notice now when you turn up the glide and then move your fingers along the keyboard, it glides to the next sound. So if you've ever wondered how you get that gliding kind of thing, this is in mono. If I had this in uh, with the mono button turned off, there we are in in polyphonic mode, so you can have multiple keys, yeah? So you can play your lush chords and all of that jazz. That's how that works, right? So if you've ever wondered about the mono, polyphonic, gliding, there's your answer right there. So if you've ever been confused about LFOs, well, guess what? There's only one. There's one LFO here, and it's very simple to operate. It has a rate, and it has this initial amount uh, uh, kind of deal. And uh, this one LFO can be attached to pretty much most of the things on here. It's not complex. There's no little chains of things you need to understand. Um, uh, then we have two oscillators, yeah? Two oscillators. What are oscillators? Oscillators generate the sound. And these two oscillators have a selection of uh, shapes in them. So we've got a saw, a square, and a triangle in each of them. Saw, square, and triangle in either of them. So there they are. So oscillator one and two. And you can control these. Over here, you have a mixer, which dedicates it how long you've got if you have the volume of oscillator one and oscillator two. So if we turn down two now and just hit a key, this is oscillator one sound. Now, if we bring in oscillator two, Right? So these two, I, these oscillators, this is what controls the sound. So I'm going to make both of these squares. Nice, yeah? Now, when you've got these in square, this is where you can really create some interesting sounds with this. Uh, so I'm going to turn up the LFO. So to connect the LFO here, you can connect it to the oscillator too. Let's turn this knob up here, this PWM. 
Now, I've just turned down oscillator one, so we're only hearing oscillator two here. And by controlling the LFO, you can hear that woo, 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 woo. That's what an LFO does. Exterminate the doctor! Right? <laughs> Good stuff. Now you can change the shape of your LFOs as well. So you got squares and saws. Random. You can ramp it up. Right? So we'll turn off the, the LFO for now. And we'll bring in our second oscillator over here. So we've got both oscillators now working together to get that. And you're probably thinking, all right, but you've got two square oscillators going on there. Wouldn't they be the same sound? Well, this is where, if you take a look at the oscillators, up the top, they both have a frequency knob. Knobs. Uh, this is where you, so you're changing the frequency of each of these oscillators. Let's turn down oscillator two and mess with the frequency knob here. See it moving? Now we're bringing oscillator two. See how this is work? Yeah? So this is how you uh, manifest your sounds. Now just be aware, you need to be on this square to activate these, these here. What's really cool is, see this sync button on number uh, oscillator one? Let's turn it on and see what happens. Turn it off. So you're going to get some really interesting sounds using this sync button, which works in tandem with this oscillator one uh, filter envelope here, which we'll go into. I'll just pull down the gain on our thing. Get away, get away, get away. What are you doing? Let's pull that down a little bit. So in the middle we have a oh you can uh, you can tune this as well on the second oscillator yeah so we can Now we have a filter uh, in the center. So what is a filter? Do, uh, if, if you're not sure what a filter is, think of like a gate. Yeah, almost like a gate. So it, it's a cut -off. we've got a cutoff and a resonance. So when you uh, wind down the cutoff, you're basically shutting the gate on the sound. Listen. <laughs> And as you're shutting it, you are getting a different tone out of that filter, yeah? And a lot of people automate this cutoff to be able to do... Like, you can automate these things. So you'll, you'll see people attaching LFOs to cutoffs and things like that. But not only that, in combination with the filter, we have a thing called resonance. So you can see what happens when I turn that up. Now what's interesting about this resonance in a lot of synths, yeah? Hey, what's going on, Jamie? Good to see you. Uh, Deep Gravity, hello. Anyone I may have missed? Who have I missed? Who have I missed? Mr. Smith, what's happening? And... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Got Conspiracy. Did I see Frankie was here earlier, I think? I saw his name somewhere. Oh, man, my brain hurts today. Let's just... Hope the blood gods are still lurking and hoping 
Yeah. Things aren't going to change. Right. So with, with uh, hey, Guzzo, what's going on? With a lot of um, uh, synths, yeah, like with my, I have a uh, synth here. Should I, is it unplugged? So I have an actual physical synth here. Yeah, this is a uh, physical synth, nice little synth here. Uh, with, but with a lot of uh, synths, the resonance gets a big squealy effect normally when you wind it up. But what's interesting about this resonance is it's really, it's really manageable, this resonance. There's a bit of squeal there, but it's really not uh, like you can get from a lot of synths where you turn it up and... Um, I'm late, Pete. Hello, Pete. I ended up having a blood nose for two and a half hours. Had to start the show late. It is what it is. Your yes, show goes on. So you can hear our sound just changing the resonance up. Let's pull it down. Pull back the cutoff a little bit. So you can hear what these little changes that come. So we also have an envelope amount here because we have two envelopes over here which you haven't got to. We've got some velocity and you can add the LFO to this as well. So if we add the rate. That's what I mean about controlling this cutoff. So you can add that LFO down here as well. Change the amount. So really simple stuff because this one LFO can be applied to most of the things here. There's nothing too complicated. You know, the, the, the beauty of this app is it's, it's trying to keep things nice and simple for you to understand. So... Let's uh, jump over. We'll jump over to our filter envelope. And uh, so you have an attack, decay, sustain, and release. Your ADSR, that is what is contained in a, in a filter envelope or an amp envelope. What is the attack? It is how it attacks. Yeah. And the decay, <laughs> and the decay is how it retreats. And the sustain is how long it attacks. <laughs> Anyway, I'll stop being a dick. So you have this oscillator one here. Which is really nice because. So notice when I add the sync to this, when I've got the sync off. It crashes. <laughs> wow. That was exciting. Sorry for that. I, I can't apologize. It just did its own thing there. Nice. Love it. So. This will help you understand a little bit better. This sync button really works well with this oscillator one slider over here. So when I have the sync off and turn this up. Hi, Valerie. And turn up this envelope. Notice how oscillator one is changing in pitch almost there. But when I add the sync, we're getting more of a resonation in there. Very interesting stuff. We can change the attack, the sustain. We can pull these sustains down and there's no sound. See, click, 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 click. So here we have changed our attack and you can hear it building up. 
So we'll come back to all this. You've also got a chorus. Now this little chorus just doesn't, it doesn't have any um, like controls or anything. You just turn it on. An instant chorus. So there's nothing you have to worry your pretty little selves about. Yeah. And uh, on this mixer down here, you have a noise feature. So we can add some dirt in there. Fascinating. Yeah, we'll pull this attack down. So you can hear that little noise knob has introduced that dirt in there. If we pull that out. Cool. So we've got a delay as well. We'll turn off this chorus. And the delay is simple, right? All you got to do is turn it up. Give it some time. Add some feedback. So it's really very easy to use. Just got a level. You've just got a time. Now there's no time sync or anything like that, unfortunately, because they've kept this as simple as possible. But if you click the little stereo button up here, you get a ping pong delay. Nice, huh? Nice. All right. So are there, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back, we'll come back and, and go over everything uh, lastly. But uh, you're probably asking, where's the presets? Where's the presets? Well, look, here's the presets. Zero. Now, it's interesting with this, it's nice and simple. Now, when it first came out, all you had was this number here. And all you could do is go up <laughs> and down. And none of the presets have any names. Right, but since uh, I'm glad I waited to do a video on this because since its release, now if you click on the number here, you get taken to a page. So you can have up to 63 presets in here and, and what you get out of the box is 31 presets. So if I click number 31, now if I go up one, 32, if I go up one, it's the same sound. So 33 and up can be written over, yeah? Not a problem, can be written over. So let me show you this, how easy it is to write over a preset. So this is a blank canvas, can do whatever I want. Let's just quickly uh, do some things. Let's turn these both to squares. Turn down this rate. So how do I save that sound? I've just quickly made a sound and all I need to do is go over here to write and click it. Done. That is now saved. So now if I go back over here, click 32. Go back here, click 33. Pretty easy to make sounds, yeah? The other way, the other cool thing that's in here, now you have to, you've got a little folder up here. So if you're in AUM, you can click on a little folder and here are all your presets. But look what happens if I hit the plus. It asks me, would you like to save this preset, which I'm about to save, in the plugin, which will save it as one of these numbers up to 60, whatever, yeah? 60, what was it, 63? Or I can name it something like God. 
and I can save it in AUM. So now you'll notice up above here, we've got a user one, which is you won't find over here in the numbers. But in, in saying this, I can now only access God when I'm using AUM. So there's a lot of doors out there like Cubasis and stuff that will allow you to save presets within that door, but it means you can't use it elsewhere. But it's handy because it gives you a whole lot more space to add presets apart from these 63 numbered un unnamed presets that you get in here. So remember, it's from uh, 33, excuse me, 33, that you can go in and um, change all these presets. Let's double click on this. Let's go through some of the sounds, shall we? Um, let's do this. Let's turn that on. <laughs> and these are what you get built in. change stuff too we can add like a bring the level up for this i love this uh delay the feedback on this just so you know i've just hit one let's we'll turn that down so watch i'm going to turn the feedback up all the way and just hit one key So to have that a wonderful feedback button there on the delay and not have it actually feed back and cause chaos is pretty nice. We'll add some noise to this. So what I did there to change that up, I turned up the um, the LFO on here, yeah, and changed the cutoff rate and I've added some noise to it. And what's happened is... Let's add some chorus to it. Yeah. How easy. So you really don't have to think too much to get some really interesting sounds on this. What I say, uh, guys, I say, Jade, how the, how the fuck do you learn so much about so many apps? I put a lot of time in. <laughs> I read a lot. I watch a lot. I read a lot of manuals. It is what it is, you know? Hey, that's how it works. Let's go up a sound here. So the sky's the limit with this because you can make so many different sounds, alternating squares, triangles, you know, you can get make fake string sounds. Electric pianos. So for example, if we go in here and change these to two saws, yeah? some sync to this, a bit of chorus.
Really simple to make some wonderful sounds. Let's go up at the bank here. So here you can see we've got this feedback on here, which is giving us that bounce effect, add some chorus. So not only do we have all these cool effects that are in here. You imagine adding some really nice effects to these. Let's just do that for the last bit of this. We've got 12 minutes of just going through this stuff. Of course, I'm going to add something like uh, El Tether, yeah? Because El Tether is beautiful. And we'll, what we'll do with El Tether is we'll bring out this, this wet mix and we'll put up this dry mix. Look at that, huh? Straight away we go from, which is already neat, to Hear that without our tether? button which does it all itself we'll throw in some resonance <laughs> so 
<laughs> For a chorus button that has no options, it does a lot, huh? A hell of a lot. <laughs> Let me just bring down this volume here. I've got still up a little bit too loud. So really nice for pads, bass. Let's get some bouncing going in this. Kind of sounds. Really sick, man. 9.99 US, 8.99 UK, uh, about 14 bucks Australian. Another fantastic app from GSI. They just keep churning them out. They had the the um, the the Echo B2. We got the Genuine Sounds Piano. Last week we did the VB uh, 3M. Then they've got Krill. They've got another one that's dropped as well, which uh, hopefully I'll be doing this week as well. But just a simple, simple interface, yeah? Not too complex. You see it all there. You know, everything's spelt out nice and big. You shouldn't have too many troubles. Plus, as I said in the beginning, if you're just starting out like this uh, with synth, uh, analog synth, you know, you can create some really dark sounds with this as well. <laughs>
Sometimes simple is best, in my opinion. I mean, we looked at that, what was it, two weeks ago, which had, I can't remember what app was it. Man, my memory's fucked. How many, it had like, what, it had 11 LFOs, <laughs> which is a sick, man. It's sick. That's crazy shit. It's awesome. But we were doing all this with one LFO. Just one. Just one. And just a couple of oscillators. Not, not too hard, you know. <laughs> Lovely jubbly, huh? So there it is. That is Krill. It's, yeah, it was the FM synth. It sure was. Um, man, my brain is fried. So I've given you the price. Anyway, what's going on the show tomorrow? Uh, and I'll, I'll make sure I'm on time. Oh, man, there's so many shows here I've got. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Tomorrow, we're doing a special. We're not doing an app tomorrow. We're just going to dive straight in and we're going to get this Metheus shit done. Metheus is highest priority at, at the moment for me to try and get finished this week. Um, so that is happening tomorrow. It may go for a couple of hours because we've got plenty of room. Wiggle room, wiggle room before Pete Jill starts. Remember, Pete is up straight after this. I will dump you over there straight after this show for YML. And sometime this week, I'm not sure when, we'll be looking at this. Patent Bud, which is a new um, a Bud app from Chem OK. And uh, that's all. I, I'm, I, I do have the other shows kind of organized, but I'm keeping them a secret. Plus, this week, as our main interview, we have James Timms coming on the show. Uh, that show will be up uh, maybe tomorrow, hopefully, if I get all the information from James. But that's good stuff. Yeah, boom. And remember, yeah, Leela's got a link in there. Leela's got a song timber show tomorrow. I'm sure Thomas has got one coming up at some stage. There'll be some extra shows from me this week to try and get my song timber stuff finito. That is the deal. That is here. We got through without a blood nose, man. Thanks for your patience, everybody, allowing me to start a little bit later. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back at the normal time. <laughs> Adios, amigos. See you over at Pete John's YML for some of your music. Yeah, boom, boom, biddly, biddly, boom, 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 boom. Exactly. Let's do it. Bye. <laughs>